Hey everyone and welcome back for another save file residence overview and we are going over the households of Brindleton Bay starting with Cavalier Cove and we are starting with the Vasquez family. It hasn't been long since the passing of Miguel's wife Rosaria. He finds it hard to cope with being a widower and a single father. His oldest daughter Ileana has found great comfort in the family cat Loma. Gabriella on the other hand has become more clingy which is understandable but it makes it hard for Miguel to leave for work in the mornings knowing she's crying for him. He hopes that one day they'll find a rhythm that works for them. And this is the Vasquez house. This is the front. Here's the back. This is the first floor. You have the living room, a kitchen, hallway, and a bathroom, and a dining room. And then upstairs, you have the bedrooms. You have Miguel's room, and Ileana and Gabriella's room, and a bathroom. And this is Miguel. For his aspiration, he wants to be a Renaissance Sim. He just wants to learn everything and that he can and impart as much knowledge on his daughters as possible, I guess. For his career, he works as a warrant officer in the military career, which is level 5. We haven't gotten to the branch selection yet. For his skills, he is level 1 in charisma, level 5 in cooking, logic, and parenting, and level 8 in fitness. For his traits, he is a geek neat active and he has the quick learner aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for hobbies and skills he likes fitness and video gaming and dislikes rocket science for music he likes latin and and pop music and dislikes electronica for conversation topics he likes deep thoughts and affection and dislikes gossip for sim characteristics he likes cerebral sims and the high energy sims and dislikes homebody sims and his favorite colors are blue and gray and he dislikes yellow and he is not part of any clubs, although in playing him, I would probably put him in the Grieving Spouses Club. Anyway, next up is his daughter, Ileana. And for her aspiration, she wants to be a whiz kid. She, I think she wants to be kind of like her dad and just learn many different things and be skilled in many different areas. With that being said, she is a C student in grade school. If I were to play this household, I'd probably cheat her up to at least a B. Anyway, for her skills, she is level one in social and charisma. For her traits, she is a cat lover and she has neutral confidence. For likes and dislikes, for music, she likes kids radio and tween pop and dislikes blues. For hobbies and skills, she likes dancing and video gaming and dislikes pipe organ. Her favorite colors are blue and yellow and she dislikes red. And for sim characteristics, she likes pet enthusiasts and dislikes egotistical sims. And I don't think I forgot to give her a conversation topics. I'm not sure if that was an um, overstep, I mean, an uh, oversight on my part or a, or it was on purpose. I feel like it was on purpose, but I don't remember the reason. She is not part of any clubs. Next up is the youngest of the family, Gabriella, and she doesn't have any skills. Maybe she's newly aged up. For her trait, she is clingy, and that is all. That is the Vasquez family. So we will move on to the next household. Next up is the Woodworth family. The Woodworths are a well-known family in Brindleton Bay. Jeffrey is a politician. His wife, Jacqueline, is a doctor. They have four kids. Gwyneth, who aspires to be a best-selling author and is at university working on her degree. Jeff, who wants to be a professional musician. Jack, who loves all sports and video games, and Jana, the little charmer who knows no strangers. And this is the Woodworth's house. This is the front of the house. And here's the back. And this is the first floor. You, you walk in here and you have the formal living room, I guess you can say, and then a family room, dining room, hallway, office, bathroom, kitchen, and formal dining room. Then you have Jeffrey and Jacqueline's room. Then you have uh, Gwyneth's room. Jeff's room, Jack's room, and I never can remember the toddler's name, Jenner's room. Let's meet the family. And this is Jeffrey. For his aspiration, he wants to be a friend of the world. He just likes meeting new people. And I guess it kind of goes with the job of being a politician. He has to meet people, get donations, and all of that. For his career, he works as a council person in the politician career, which is level 7. For his skills, he is level 5 in cooking, level 7 in logic, and he has reached level 10 or maxed charisma and parenting. For his traits, he is outgoing, ambitious, and family-oriented, and he has the gregarious aspiration trait. 
for likes and dislikes for music he likes classical and easy listening music and dislikes metal for hobbies and skills he likes comedy and research and debate and dislikes singing for conversation topics he likes compliments and deep thoughts dislikes potty humor for sim characteristics he likes family motivated sims and spirited sims and dislikes ambitionless sims and his favorite colors are brown and green and he dislikes yellow and he is not part of any club next up is his wife jacqueline and for her aspiration she wants to be and wants to have a big happy family she works as a general practitioner in the doctor career which is level seven for her skills she is level five in cooking level seven in charisma and level 10 or maxed logic and parenting for her traits she is romantic a genius and family oriented and she has the domestic aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for music she likes romance and easy listening music and she dislikes electronica for hobbies and skills she likes baking and photography and dislikes dj mixing for conversation topics she likes deep thoughts and affection and dislikes pranks and for sim characteristics she likes cerebral sims and family motivated sims and dislikes rascals and her favorite colors are blue and purple and she dislikes orange and she is not part of any clubs as well next up is gwyneth this is gwyneth and she wants to be a best-selling author and she is a liter language and literature major at the Foxbury In Institute. For her skills, she is level one in charisma, level three in logic and writing. For her traits, she is cheerful, a bookworm, and family oriented, and she has the muser aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes photography and writing and dislikes fitness. For music, she likes classical and jazz and dislikes electronica. Her favorite colors are red and purple, and, and she dislikes yellow. There's that combination again. And for sim characteristics, she likes optimistic sims and homebody sims, and dislikes pessimistic sims. For conversation topics, she likes gossip and deep thoughts, and dislikes complaints. And she is not part of any clubs. Next up is her younger brother, Jeff. For his aspiration, he wants to be the friend of the world. Maybe he's kind of like his dad. For his career, he is a C student in high school. For his skills, he is level 1 in Charisma, level 3 in Guitar and Logic. For his traits, he is a dance machine, music lover, and he has the gregarious aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes alternative music and metal, and dislikes classical music. For hobbies and skills, he likes dancing and guitar, and dislikes handiness. His favorite colors are orange and red, and he dislikes pink. For sim characteristics, he likes idealistic sims and spirited sims and dislikes emotional decision makers. And for conversation topics, he likes small talk and silly behavior and dislikes deception. And he is not part of any clubs. This is Jack. And for his aspiration, he wants to be a rambunctious scamp. He is a C student in grade school as well as a llama scout in the scouting after school activity, which is level one. For his skills, he is level one in motor and charisma. For his traits, he is a geek. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes fitness and video gaming and dislikes violin. For music, he likes electronica and kids radio and dislikes bar okay music. For conversation topics, he likes deep thoughts and dislikes gossip. For sim characteristics, he likes cerebral sims and dislikes idealistic sims. His favorite colors are gray and green and he dislikes purple. And he is part of the Brindleton Bay Scouts. Next up is the youngest of the family, Jenna. For her skills, she is level one in movement and communication. And for her trait, she has the charmer trait. So that is the Woodworth family. We will move on to the next household. Next up is the Dyson household. Dylan and Danica have been together ever since they were in high school. They have four children, Declan, Dorian, and twins, Daniela and Dominique. They recently adopted a Jack Russell Terrier named Dudley. With four kids, two being toddlers, and a new puppy, Danica hopes she can keep sane. And this is the Dyson's house. This is the front. This is the back. This is the first floor. You have the living room, and then you have a little hallway slash office, I guess. I just put the computer there because I didn't know what else to put. The dining room and the kitchen. Upstairs, you have the bedrooms. You have Dylan and Danica's room, and, and they have a bathroom. And then you have the twins, Daniela and Dominique. You have Dorian's room and Declan's room and an extra bathroom. If you watch my Emerson's Double Life miniseries, you will be familiar with the Dysons because they are really good friends with the Williams family. This is Dylan. He's the dad. 
And for his aspiration, he wants to have a big, happy family, which he's well on his way to having. For his career, he is a vice president in the management branch of the business career, which is level seven. For his skills, he is level one in comedy and video gaming, and he has reached level 10 or maxed fitness, charisma, handiness, logic, and parenting. For his traits, he is neat, active, and family-oriented, and he has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes rock climbing and fitness and dislikes violin. For music, he likes retro music and Americana music and dislikes DJ booth music. For conversation topics, he likes jokes and affection and dislikes malicious interactions. For sim characteristics, he likes family-motivated sims and high-energy sims and dislikes pessimistic sims. And his favorite colors are blue and gray, and he dislikes yellow. And he is not part of any clubs. Next up is his wife, Danica. For her aspiration, she wants to be a super parent. She just wants to be the best mom she can be. She is a stay-at-home mom. For her skills, she is level 1 in pet training and video gaming, and she has maxed or reached level 10 in gourmet cooking, home-style cooking, logic, and parenting. For her traits, she's a foodie, romantic, and family-oriented, and she has the domestic aspiration trait as well. For likes and dislikes for music, she likes singer-songwriter and romance music and dislikes DJ Booth. For hobbies and skills, she likes baking and cooking and dislikes mixology. Her favorite colors are yellow and blue, and she dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, she likes family-motivated sims and homebody sims and dislikes rascals. For conversation topics, she likes physical intimacy and affection and dislikes potty humor. And she is not part of any clubs. Next up is Declan Dyson. He is the oldest of the four Dyson children. And for his aspiration, he wants to be a bodybuilder. He just likes working out. He is a C student in high school. And he is also a llama scout, which is level one of the scouting uh, after school activity. Whenever I go to update this uh, save, I'm probably going to raise that up a little bit because he should be further on with that. For his skills, he is level one in comedy, charisma, cooking, and video gaming, and level two in rocket science. And he looks like he's just gaining comedy right now, so that might be different in your game. For his traits, he is outgoing and active, and he also has the scouting aptitude uh, reward trait, and uh, he also has the high metabolism aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes fitness and snowboarding and dislikes painting. For music, he likes alternative and hip-hop and dislikes kids' radio. His favorite colors are red and blue, and he dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, he likes spirited sims and nature enthusiasts and dislikes homebody sims. For conversation topics, he likes silly behavior and jokes and dislikes arguments. And he is the leader of the Brindleton Bay Scouts. Next up is Dorian. And for his aspiration, he wants to be a rambunctious scamp. He, he's just outdoorsy as well. He's very active and outdoorsy. He is a C student in grade school, and he is also a llama scout, which is level one of the scouting after school activity. For his skills, he is level one in social, motor, and creativity, and level three in mental. For his traits, he loves out loves the outdoors. For likes and dislikes for music, he likes kids radio and backyard music and dislikes classical. For hobbies and skills, he likes fishing and fitness and dislikes violin. For conversation topics, he likes silly behavior and dislikes gossip. For sim characteristics, he likes nature enthusiasts and dislikes homebody sims. And his favorite colors are red and yellow, and he dislikes brown. And he is part of the Brindleton Bay Scouts as well. Next up is Daniela. And for her traits, she is level 2 in thinking, imagination, communication, and potty training. And level 3 in movement. And for her traits, she is a charmer. And this is her twin sister, Dominique. And for her skills, she is level one in communication, level two in potty training and thinking, level three in movement and imagination. And for her trait, she is inquisitive. Here is their little puppy, Jack Russell Terrier puppy, uh, Dudley. And a little fun fact about the Dysons, they are a household that I made in The Sims 3 and probably the longest household that I ever played in The Sims 3. I played them for a few generations, actually. I think when Declan and Dorian's kids were, and, and all of these kids were all grown up and started having their own kids, I think that's when, but I think something happened with the save and 
either I got bored with it or something. But anyway, so I decided to bring them back to The Sims 4 because I like this family. But in this family, at one point, the twins, they were at odds because I think it was Daniela that w was flirting with Dominique's husband. I think it has been years. And not only that, Dylan was flirting with Declan's wife, which is another sim that I recreated in The Sims 4, the Marshall family in Windenburg, were the friends of the Dysons. I guess you could say the Dysons are kind of my goth family <laughs> because I never knew anything about the goths until recent years. But anyway, that is the Dyson family. So let's move on to the next household. And for the last household, the Williams household. Emerson has it all. A beautiful wife, a sweet son, and a successful career. What more can a man ask for? Well, apparently a mistress. Emerson has been seeing Marissa for nearly two years. Sadly, Elizabeth is completely oblivious to her husband's extramarital affairs. She would be crushed if she knew the truth. Will she ever find out? And this is the Williams house. This is the front. And here is the back. Here is the first floor. You have the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen. And then upstairs you have the bedrooms. You have Oliver's room and Emerson and Elizabeth's room, a bathroom, and a nursery. And this is Emerson. And for his aspiration, he wants to be fabulously wealthy. He just wants to be comfortable in life and not have to worry about money too much. He is a vice president in the management branch of the business career, which is level 7. For his skills, he is level 5 in handiness and parenting and level 10 in charisma and logic. For his traits, he is self-assured, romantic, and ambitious, and he has the business-savvy aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes retro and romance and dislikes electronica. For hobbies and skills, he likes skiing and fitness and dislikes cooking. For conversation topics, he likes physical intimacy and flirtation and dislikes potty humor. For sim characteristics, he likes egotistical sims and romance enthusiasts and dislikes emotional decision makers. And his favorite colors are black and blue and he dislikes yellow. And he is part of the Future World Leaders Mentors and that is all. Next up is Elizabeth. For her aspiration, she wants to be... A super parent. She does not work. She is a stay-at-home mom. For her skills, she is level 1 in charisma, level 3 in logic, and level 8 in home style cooking and parenting. For her traits, she is neat, romantic, and family-oriented, and she has the domestic aspiration trait. For music, she likes romance and easy listening and dislikes backyard music. For hobbies and skills, she likes baking and photography and dislikes mixology. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and affection and dislikes malicious interactions. For sim characteristics, she likes family-motivated sims and homebody sims and dislikes ambitionless sims. And her favorite colors are blue and gray, and she dislikes red, and she is not part of any clubs. Next up is Oliver. For his aspiration, he wants to be a whiz kid. He is a C student in grade school, and he is also a llama scout in the scouting uh, after-school activity. He has no skills, which might be an oversight on my part. For his traits, he is outgoing. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes fitness and video gaming and dislikes singing. For music, he likes kids radio and backyard music and dislikes Americana. For conversation topics, he likes affection and dislikes gossip. For sim characteristics, he likes pet enthusiasts and dislikes rascals. And his favorite colors are red and gray and he dislikes brown. And he is part of the Brindleton Bay Scouts. This is what the family starts out as. If you want to see how I'm playing their story, check out the Emerson's Double Life mini series on my channel because we are playing this household. They seem like a pretty mild and normal household until you really until you really get into it, I guess. But anyway, that is the Williams household. And those are the households of Cavalier Cove. Next time we will be focusing on Sable Square. So I guess that is all from me for now. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.